The last time we saw the Nintendo Switch, we were very impressed with its repairability and scored it an 8 out of 10. This was mostly due to its use of a ton of modular components, including the battery, which is easily replaced. Today, we're tearing down the new version, the Switch Lite, and we hope it'll be just as easy to fix, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to tear it down. Standard Phillips and less than standard Y000 screws hold the rear case in place, and with a little brute force, we reveal the cover under the cover. This metal shield is hiding the guts of the Switch Lite, but once removed, we get to look at this familiar but slightly redesigned Switch. The biggest changes we notice are a slightly smaller battery and some interestingly redesigned speakers. The battery is the first to come out, and boy is it stuck in place. The adhesive is strong, but it's no match for our opening picks. This battery is a 3.8 volt, 13.6 watt hour battery, which is slightly less than the original 16 watt hour battery. But according to Nintendo, you'll get more playtime out of the light's smaller battery than you would on the original. Removing the heatsink allows us to access the headphone jack game cartridge combo unit and the fan. And once we've dispatched the left and right triggers and all the buttons, we can finally lift out the motherboard. The motherboard is home to the NVIDIA Tegra X1 based system on chip, the now soldered on flash storage, and four gigabytes of LP DDR4X DRAM. The Switch Lite speakers seem to have the same driver as the original Switch, but we found the stereo speakers enclosed in a case that directs sound out of the bottom of the device. The enclosure could also act to protect the speakers from water and dust. Turning our attention to the Switch Lite's joysticks, we hope to find out whether or not they've been improved. The original Switch's joysticks caused some controversy with their problems with drift, which is when they register movement even without being touched. While things didn't immediately seem too different, we did notice some new trace routing, a narrower stick click button, and slightly wider looking metal sliders. How much of a difference will this make in the long run? We'll have to wait and see. We're left with a 5.5 inch LCD display that has a resolution of 1280 by 720. With our Switch Lite fully disassembled, it's time to talk repairability. The Nintendo Switch Lite scored a six out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, screws rather than adhesives secure most components. Many components, including the joysticks, fan, and headphone jack, are modular and can be replaced independently. The battery, though strongly glued down, can be replaced shortly after removing the rear case. The digitizer and display are not fused, but are firmly glued in place. And on the downside, the flash storage and SD card reader are now soldered directly to the motherboard, and uncommon tri-point screws hinder all repairs. 